Ever feel like your developer brain needs a different kind of challenge? Or maybe you just want to unwind with a game that still gets those logical gears turning? If that sounds like you, stick around. I've got five games that I think are perfect for developers, counting down to my personal favorite. Kicking things off with Bitburner. This cyberpunk hacking sim is built on JavaScript. You'll be writing actual scripts to automate everything from hacking servers to playing the stock market. Think of it as coding with a seriously cool dystopian twist. At number four, it's Foundry. Don't let the first-person factory builder label fool you devs. Set in an infinite voxel world, Foundry offers complete creative freedom to design and automate massive factories, from basic extraction to complex machinery and transport networks. Sculpt the world, research tech, and optimize your builds without limits. If you dig designing intricate systems in a 3D sandbox, this one's for you. Plus, there's co-op. At number three, we have the charmingly named The Farmers Was Replaced. Don't let the title fool you. This game involves programming drones in a Python-like language to automate all your farming tasks. It's all about logical progression and watching your code bring your farm to life. We're entering serious automation territory with Satisfactory. This first-person factory builder throws you onto an alien planet where you'll design and construct massive interconnected factories. Think about resource management, logistics, and optimizing those conveyor belt networks. It's practically visual programming on an epic scale. And my top pick, the king of automation games, Factorio. If you're a developer who loves problem solving and efficiency, this is your jam. You'll be building complex complex production lines from the ground up, researching technologies, and defending your industrial empire. The depth and the sheer possibilities for optimization are mind-blowing. So there you have it, five fantastic games that'll scratch that developer itch even when you're taking a break from coding. Which one are you firing up first? Let me know in the comments.